really do have the best job ever because I am working right now and I'm in my pajamas. That's it, that's my intro. Hi, I'm Amanda and you're watching Small Entertainment and today's I Tried It So You Don't Have To, we are reviewing the pillow cue. The pillow for side sleepers. I have been a side sleeper for God, my entire life. There's this trend on TikTok where you use the inverted filter to show how unsymmetrical your face is because apparently if you're a side sleeper and you've only slept on one side for a foreseeable amount of time, your face is literally shifted from like being in that weird position on your side the entire time. I don't wanna know how asymmetrical my face is. I've been a side sleeper for my whole life, partially because I used to have night terrors and sleep paralysis and uh, I don't wanna see things sitting on my chest, no. I also uh, don't like sleeping facing away from the door or like not looking at the door because I have anxiety. So obviously I have to sleep on my side facing the door so that I know when someone comes in. But I also have to be sleeping near the window in case I need to jump out the window. No, there's no real logic to this plan. And who knows if I would even live if this <laughs> were to come to pass, but who knows? Anyway, we're reviewing a pillow today. <laughs> But yes, every company that I review that has nearly put me through a heart attack or makes me need to renew my prescription because my eyes are straining from the dumb colors of a puzzle, there is a time where I get to sleep to review a product. And speaking of sleep, let me thank the sponsors for this video, Verb. I am a coffee connoisseur. I have talked about coffee a lot on this channel and I've talked about caffeine a lot on this channel. However, I have found that there's sometimes throughout the day where I just really don't wanna have another cup of coffee, but I'm sleepy and I could use a little burst of energy. That's where Verb Energy Bars come in. Each bar is infused with organic green tea and has the same amount of caffeine as an espresso, but without the crash, and without the jitters. Each bar is low in sugar and is just 90 calories. They are also all gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. Each bar is individually packaged and they are the perfect size and super convenient to fit in your bag or in your pajama pocket. Perfect for energy on the go. Some of their flavors include blueberry crisp, pumpkin spice latte, vanilla latte, and my personal favorite, salted peanut butter. Verb has an awesome trial pack where you can try their top four flavors for just the cost of shipping. The first thousand people who click my link down below will get that deal. All you pay is 95 cents for shipping. Thank you again to Verb for sponsoring this video. I had several of you DM me about the pillow cube, several, over the course of a while. And I was kind of like looking at the pillow cube, but I was like, mm, I don't think it's time yet. I'm gonna wait. And sure enough, eventually, as all things do, I started getting pelted, absolutely pummeled with the pillow cube ads on YouTube. And it's always the same ad. It's the word, that's what I hate. Meet your next pillow. Why do we make our pillow in the shape of a cube? I'll tell you. The problem with pillows is that you're trying to fit a round peg into a square hole. I can tolerate being pushed the same product several times if I get a little bit of variety from it, like different types of commercials. But when you only make one commercial and then you put it on eight of the next 10 videos that I watch on YouTube, I get a little annoyed, especially when I see the same ad twice in the same video. That's happened multiple times. I, I <laughs> no. So Pillow Cube, here we are. Like I said, I'm a side sleeper, so I went to their website and checked it out. I have talked about the impact of the Dollar Shave Club greatest commercial ever launch commercial on this channel before, particularly when I talked about uh, Dr. Squatch. The vibe is still there, and I truly think that that is when marketing died. <laughs> because the Pillow Cube ad is so much like the Dollar Shave Club ad, it's not even funny. It's just, it's, it's why, why? Be, be creative. I know you think you're being trendy, but you're not anymore. That video came out in like, what, 2012, I think? God, try something new. Throw your pillow off a building. Run it over with dynamite. Run it over with dynamite. You get my point. Try something different. Also, ever since I have uh, reviewed the nugget, I am astounded by how much you can achieve, how much money you can make by just putting fabric over a piece of foam. Like, it's actually ridiculous. It's like, I could do this and put velvet covering over it. And it, the Pinterest mobs would shit themselves. <laughs> There's so much money in foam and fabric. It's ridiculous. Like I said, I'm a side sleeper. I also work at a desk a lot. So like my back, my neck, 
That's smart. <laughs> I am 12 years old. Anyway, my alignment's out of whack. It's not uncommon for we to wake up and have neck pain for the first chunk of the morning because I slept weird. Usually I pile up pillows and that's what I do. I, I flip around in the middle of the night. I have a whole clip that I filmed of how I usually sleep. So uh, I have the pillow, I have the pillow case and I'm gonna show you guys how I usually sleep. So I uh, sleep like this and I sleep on my side like this, usually like this. Usually I found that to fall asleep, I have to physically like be actually like on my side. Like I can't be on my stomach on my side. I can't be on my back. And then sometimes I roll around, but I usually always end up on my side. My pillows move around. So I sleep with my arm under my pillow. So I don't know how this is gonna work out with my arm. Cause usually I sleep with my arm under my pillow. Like I like bury my arm like this, you know? Like I do that usually. So I don't know how this is gonna work with this thing, but we're gonna find out. Do you guys like my fiddly fig? His name is Freddy. I name my plants. Let's get this bad boy open. This is the five inch. This is the most popular one it said. Oh, this is like memory foam. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, is that? It's much more giving than I was expecting. I bought the pillow case just to go with it. Uh, there was a gray one that I was wanting to get because it would match it, but they were sold out of the five inch one. So I got the white one. Is this even going to fit? Did they send me the wrong size? I will sleep with a regular pillowcase on this thing because I'm not just sleeping on it with that one. Okay, wait. Wait, did that fit? No, this is... <laughs> I think it's the wrong size pillowcase. Oh, this thing is like smushed in here. I ordered the same size. Did they send me a bigger one? The box had no information. <laughs> you know what? It works. This is the wrong pillowcase. Okay, I'm moving all of my pillows. <laughs> okay, I'm trying this out. Huh. Okay, the five inch is probably smart. This is what I got. I got the five inch. Probably okay. I'm gonna make a rule that I can't sleep with my other pillows tonight. I have to sleep with just this one. Cause usually I like have like a mound. Okay, it's not too bad with my hand under it. So I'm gonna be sleeping like this for, eh, I can do a week. That's the date. Yeah, I'll do a week maybe, okay? And we'll see where I'm at. You know, like neck pain wise, sleep level wise, we'll measure my sleep. See if this helps me. Um, I'm, I'm the type of person I get up and down a lot in the middle of the night. I wake up a lot, uh, whether that's my insomnia or my anxiety or my inability to sleep like a regular human without plotting out the downfall of society. I have no idea, but we're gonna see if this helps me sleep better. Pillow Cube Pro, which is five inches and it's $119.99. $119. If it's not gonna put the fitted sheet on the bed for me, I don't think it's worth $119. It said it was the most popular option and I'm not super big, obviously. I'm 5'2", I'm some of you seem to think that I'm like 5'7 or something. Someone said I had like tall, angry bi energy, which thank you. But no, I'm 5'2". I'm and so I thought the five inch was gonna be no problem. I thought that was gonna be more than enough. Should I get out a measuring tape to measure the space from my shoulder to my neck? I should, huh? Yeah. One moment. So this five inches. Okay. It is in fact five inches. Am I more than five inches? Okay, wait. Okay. Let me pull my hair out of the way. Sitting up straight. Wow, do my shoulders really... I need to work on my posture. <laughs> This is bad. I sleep like this essentially, okay? So my shoulders, I need to stretch more. I need to work on my posture. Someone can yell about that to me later. That's kind of it, okay. About six inches, okay? So maybe if I'd gotten the bigger option would have been better, but I didn't. I'm going to bed. Um, my TV is on so you can see me. Hi, um, I'm prepared. Let's see, I got, uh, okay. I mean, I feel like this is gonna work. I feel comfortable. I feel like this is gonna work out. 
So I'm gonna go to bed and I will update you in the morning. It's not nearly as firm as I was expecting. I will say that, I'm a little disappointed. We'll see how this feels after I sleep a little bit, goodbye. My hair looks really messed up because I slept on it, but yeah, hi. Good morning. I slept okay. I woke up a lot, like usual, so nothing crazy changed. I mean, maybe this will be an adjustment. My neck hurts a little bit, but like no more than I usually would from sleeping on my side. I'm still like kind of crunched over. I honestly don't know if I should have gotten the taller one. Maybe I have broad shoulders and I didn't realize it. To review this, I slept on it for five nights, I think. Was it four nights or five nights? I think it was five nights. I don't remember, but I since even since stopping filming that, I've slept on it two nights since then. Have I noticed a crazy amount of change in my sleep behavior? No, not really. Good morning, I'm sure I look wonderful. Um. I kept waking up again in the middle of the night. I don't know, it's not super comfortable. I'm gonna be honest, like I'm, I'm sleeping, I'm up and down and my neck is still uncomfortable. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at right now. I have this thing where I wake up constantly throughout the night. I, I don't know why, I just do. Um, usually I just roll over. Sometimes I can go back to sleep, sometimes I can't. It's a whole thing, who knows? That didn't stop while I was using this thing. So it's not like I'm uncomfortable or something. It's just my brain being like, <laughs> you're gonna die if you don't wake up right now. So that's fun. As far as the neck pain goes, I wouldn't say that it's overall better. It's definitely not worse, but I wouldn't say that there's a remarkable improvement. And I would say I've been sleeping on this for about mm, seven days now, okay? Pillowcase that was recommended to me at checkout. And I, I slept on it with the pillowcase because I'm not a heathen, um, or at least I try not to be. But here's the pillow. Here's the pillowcase. So not ideal. I may just literally put a regular pillowcase. I wonder if you can tell that there's peanut butter on this pillow. <laughs> I am, I, I set the pillow on my counter and apparently there was peanut butter on my counter and so there's peanut butter on the pillow. I, <laughs> I don't think I got all my mascara off last night, but hi. Um, I'm finding that these are much more comfortable to sleep on if you're like right on the corner. Much better support. I'm still getting up and down in the middle of the night, but that literally could just be me and my sleep pattern. It could not be the pillow, so. I'm still tired, but I gotta get up now. So it is literally just foam, but I do like that I can take this off and wash this. That is nice. Um, I try to wash actually all of my pillows. I wash my pillowcases like more than weekly, like bi-weekly, because I have sensitive skin and I have to essentially to avoid breakouts. I usually try and wash my pillows mm, twice a year, just because. Oh, this is like weirdly sticky. I don't know. Oh God, You okay. You know like kinetic sand? That's what this feels like. This is kind of fun. <laughs> oh, if I don't keep sleeping with this as an actual pillow, this is gonna be my new desk seat. This is nice. I'm, I'm going to sit on this. <laughs> Overall, would I recommend this pillow to side sleepers? I mean, I'm probably gonna keep using it. I, I will, maybe I'll do a check-in on social media. Check, follow me on uh, Instagram and stuff. Maybe I'll do a check-in in like a month and see if I've noticed any other changes to my sleeping pattern while using this. I will say that my, the most pain that I've seen changed is my shoulder pain, I would say. I would say that's where I've seen the most difference with the pillow cube. I think this is kind of taking some of the weight off of my shoulder, just a little bit. Not drastically, because I do still sink down, as you saw in the footage. Sleeping on them like this, much better. Much more support, much firmer, much better support. Again, I'm still like, kind of at a weird angle. I'm so tired. I just woke up, like literally 45 seconds ago, I woke up and was like, okay, I'll, I'll film the video now. Ah. If you are going to get the pillow cube, Measure your neck. <laughs> Measure the space between your shoulder and your neck first, because I thought five inches was gonna be fine. And I would say that it is, but maybe six inches would be better. There's a joke there. I'm choosing not to make it. Fill in the blank yourself. As far as the pillowcase goes, I would just make sure that you're getting the proper case for the pillow that you choose to get. The case was $14.99, which for one pillowcase, 
a specialty pillowcase, I guess you can say. So it's not too bad. They easily could have charged like $30, $40 for it because it's a specialty pillowcase, but you get my point. Shipping wasn't too bad. Shipping was free. Taxes was $8.10. So my total for the whole order for this video was $143.08 USD. Shipping took a while. I ordered it on the third. It got shipped 13 days later. I don't know why it took so long to ship later, but it was delivered within like three days of it being shipped. So I wasn't too worried about that. I'm not sure if they're like made to order or what the deal is with that. It's definitely not like nugget levels of waiting or wait lists or anything like that. I don't want to get up, but I have to get up. But yeah, this was the, um, probably not the last night I'm going to use this thing, but this is the last night that I'm like filming it for this video. So yeah, overall, I slept pretty good last night, especially. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pillow. It gets the job done. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts in a minute. I might go back to sleep a little bit and sleep for a couple more minutes because I am sleepy. Yay. Is it worth the $119, the $120? I don't know. I don't fully think so. I think a memory foam pillow would do just fine. I really think it, you kind of have to judge it for yourself. Maybe try other options. Maybe just roll up a blanket under your neck. I don't know. But do I think that if you are a side sleeper, you have to have this pillow? Probably not. I think you can get on without. I can't say it's not worth $119 because I've never tried a more expensive pillow. Usually I get pillows from Walmart or Target, so they're usually not crazy expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's not worth $119, but I can't definitively tell you a new price for the pillow. Did this drastically change my sleep? No. However, I wasn't sleeping soundly before this, so it's not like it overwhelmingly changed my sleep for the better or for the worse. It was just kind of existing. That's probably gonna be it. I, I feel like I've stretched out enough for what I can speak about this pillow. <laughs> Have you tried the pillow cube? Are there any other expensive pillows you would like me to try? I would love to have to sleep more for product reviews. This is so nice. Anyway, let me know, comment down below. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd also like to support me on Patreon, that'll be listed down below. If you'd like to follow me on my social media, that'll be all up here. And that's gonna be it. Have a lovely day, sleep tight. Now before you go to bed with your pillow cube, you can go and buy some small entertainment merch. Links in the description. Have some tea, maybe before bed in your sunglasses mug. Good night. Thank you, Ali, Alan, Alex, Braden, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Cody, Colton, Crash, PC, Destiny, Devin, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, S and M, Hopeless, Holo, Jacker, Ray, Joe, John, and Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Kevin, Kim, Kristen, Lex, Lisa, Louise, Manga, Matt, Matt, O, Matthew S, Me, Lord, the Red, Mike, Michael, Jane, Nathaniel, Pat, Pilot, Rob, Robbie, Robert, Ross, Sam, Simon, Stefan, Tasha, Timothy, Tom, Wendy, Williams, Andre.